Just when this man's wife was worried about her husband's safety, after he did not return home from work, she heard a strange growling sound outside their apartment. What she saw shocked everyone. Michael Palmer was a devoted forest reserve worker. Every morning, he woke up with the sun, eager to begin another day of protecting the wilderness he loved. Today was no different. As dawn broke, he kissed his wife Laura goodbye, grabbed his gear, and headed out the door. Little did he know, fate had other plans in store for him. As evening approached, Laura sat outside their cozy cabin, a sense of anticipation tingling in her chest. She watched the horizon, waiting for the familiar sound of Michael's snowmobile. But as the minutes stretched into hours, her concern grew. She checked the time repeatedly, wondering what could be keeping him so late. With each passing moment, her worry deepened. She paced back and forth, her heart pounding in her chest. She reached for her phone, intending to call Michael, but her fingers froze as she realized that his phone went straight to voicemail. Panic bubbled up inside her as she tried again and again, but each attempt proved futile. This was unlike Michael. Whenever he knew he'd be late, he made sure to call and let her know. But tonight, there was only silence. Laura's mind raced with possibilities, each one more terrifying than the last. She fought back tears, willing herself to stay calm. But as the night wore on, her resolve began to crumble. She couldn't stop herself from crying as her mind conjured up the worst scenario she could imagine. With each passing moment, Laura knew she couldn't wait any longer. If Michael didn't return by morning, she would have to contact the authorities. She still clung to the hope that her husband had simply found himself snowed in and had been forced to find shelter somewhere safe, but without phones. Eventually, fatigue overtook her and she drifted into a fitful sleep. The following morning arrived with a heavy weight on Laura's shoulders. When she woke, she realized there were still no calls or texts from Michael. He hadn't returned home, nor had he made any attempt to contact her. Fear clenched at her chest as she reached for her phone, her fingers trembling as she considered contacting the authorities. But before she could press the call button, a sudden noise outside startled her. Rustling and movement caught her attention, and she froze, a glimmer of hope flickering in her chest. Could it be Michael? With bated breath, she called out his name, her voice trembling with anticipation. But instead of her husband's familiar voice, she was met with a haunting howl that sent shivers down her spine. Panic seized Laura as she cautiously made her way to the window, her heart pounding in her ears. She parted the curtains slowly, her breath catching in her throat as she caught sight of a large figure standing just beyond the yard. His mind raced with fear as she realized what it was. A fully grown wolf. In the wilds of Alaska, Encounters with such creatures were rare, especially so close to human habitation. Laura's hands shook as she watched the wolf, its golden eyes locked onto hers with an intensity that sent a chill down her spine. She wondered what could have drawn the predator to her home, her thoughts immediately turning to Michael. Could the wolf somehow be connected to his disappearance? Had it traced his scent back home? If so, why did it even know what her husband smelled like? The possibility that the wolf had crossed paths with Michael made her tremble. As minutes turned into hours, Laura remained glued to the window, her eyes never leaving the wolf's form. She hoped desperately that it would simply wander off into the forest, but to her dismay, it remained rooted to the spot as if waiting for something. Unable to tear her gaze away, Laura searched for any sign of movement any indication of what the wolf might do next, but it remained still. She wondered if she should call for help, if she should alert the authorities to the presence of the dangerous predator so close to her home. But a nagging voice in the back of her mind told her there was more to this situation than met the eye. At first, Laura shook her head, berating herself when for a short moment she considered the reckless idea of approaching the wolf. Approaching a wild animal was unthinkable. It was dangerous, foolhardy even. Yet, despite the voice of reason screaming in her mind, a strange feeling tugged at her heart, urging her to cast aside her fears and take a leap of faith. Summoning her courage, Laura made a bold decision. 
With determination in her eyes, she swung open the cabin door and stepped out into the crisp morning air. The wolf's gaze met hers once more, and for a fleeting moment, their eyes locked in a silent exchange. In that moment, Laura sensed something in the wolf's demeanor, a sense of urgency perhaps, but not the predatory instinct she had feared. Heart pounding, Laura approached the wolf cautiously, her movements slow and deliberate. To her surprise, the wolf turned and began to walk into the forest, glancing back at her as if urging her to follow. Laura hesitated for a moment, uncertainty gnawing at her resolve. But deep down, she knew she couldn't ignore the pull she felt towards the enigmatic creature. Rushing back inside, she quickly retrieved her snowmobile, the engine roaring to life beneath her with a reassuring hum. With the snowmobile engine humming to life beneath her, Laura watched in amazement as the wolf took the lead, darting ahead with a speed and agility that left her breathless. Despite the loud noise of the machinery, the wolf showed no signs of fear, its determination clear as it forged a path through the snowy forest. As they ventured deeper into the wintry landscape, Laura's eyes caught sight of something unexpected. A second snowmobile parked along the trail. Her heart skipped a beat as she realized it was identical to her husband's. Could it be? Had Michael been here too? Her mind raced with questions as the wolf slowed its pace, sniffing and circling a clearing up ahead. Curiosity peaked, Laura stepped off her snowmobile, her eyes scanning the clearing for any sign of her husband. And then she saw it, a deep hole partially obscured by snow and fallen branches. Suddenly, a whimpering sound reached her ears and Laura froze in place. It was Michael's voice, faint but unmistakable, emanating from the depths of the hole. Without hesitation, she rushed forward, dropping to her knees beside the opening as tears welled in her eyes. She called out his name, her voice cracking with emotion, as she peered into the darkness below. There, trapped beneath the surface, was her husband. His face was pale and drawn, his eyes filled with a mixture of relief and exhaustion as he looked up at her. Laura's heart ached at the sight, knowing the ordeal he must have endured, alone and afraid in the depths of the forest during a freezing winter night. It all made sense now, why Michael hadn't returned home, why he hadn't been able to reach her via phone or text. He must have been walking along the trail, unaware of the hidden danger lurking beneath the snow and branches. And now, here he was, miraculously alive, but in desperate need of rescue. With Michael still trapped in the hole, Laura's focus shifted entirely to his rescue. She knew she had to find a way to free him. Frustration gnawed at her insides as she racked her brain for a solution. And then, like a bolt from the blue, an idea struck her. Michael's snowmobile, the very vehicle she had seen on the way, had a winch attached to it. If she could find a rope and secure it to the winch, they might have a chance at pulling him to safety. With newfound determination, Laura dashed towards Michael's snowmobile. And there it was, just as she had hoped, the winch gleaming in the fading light of day. Without hesitation, she grabbed a length of durable rope from her husband's backpack and hurried back to the spot where Michael awaited his fate. Breathless with excitement, Laura explained her plan to Michael, his eyes lighting up with hope as he nodded in agreement. With practiced hands, he tied one end of the rope around his frame, securing it as tightly as he could manage. And then, with a silent prayer on her lips, Laura activated the winch, the sound of its motor filling the air as it sprang to life. Slowly but surely, the winch began to pull, its powerful mechanism straining against the weight of Michael's body. Laura held her breath, her eyes locked on her husband's form as he ascended inch by painstaking inch. And then, with a final heave, he emerged from the depths of the hole, his body battered and bruised but miraculously alive. Before Laura could rush to his side, however, the unexpected happened. The wolf, which had been watching their efforts with keen interest, approached Michael with a joyful yip, its tail wagging in excitement. Laura's heart skipped a beat as she braced herself for an attack, 
but to her astonishment, the wolf merely licked Michael's face, its affectionate gesture attesting to the bond they shared. Confusion clouded Laura's mind as she watched the scene unfold before her. How could a wild animal show such affection towards a human? It defied logic, yet there it was, happening right before her eyes. With tears streaming down her cheeks, Laura rushed to Michael's side, her arms enveloping him in a tight embrace as she whispered words of love and relief. With Michael cradled in her lap, Laura couldn't help but feel a surge of relief wash over her. Despite his weakened state, he managed to muster a faint smile, his eyes reflecting a mixture of happiness and confusion at their miraculous escape from the entrapment. Laura held him close, feeling grateful beyond words that they were together again, safe and sound. Though Laura was bursting with curiosity about the mysterious wolf that had played such a pivotal role in their rescue, she knew that now wasn't the time for questions. Michael needed rest and proper care, and she was determined to get him home as quickly as possible. But as she glanced towards the wolf still lingering nearby, she couldn't help but feel a sense of gratitude towards the creature that had led them to each other. Gently, Laura helped Michael to his feet, his body leaning heavily on hers for support as she guided him towards the snowmobile. With practiced hands, she secured him at the back of the vehicle, making sure he was comfortable before revving the engine to life. But as she prepared to depart, her gaze lingered on the wolf, which had now approached Michael, nuzzling against his body in a display of affection that left Laura speechless. With a final howl that echoed through the forest, the wolf disappeared into the shadows, leaving Laura and Michael alone once more. Though she couldn't shake the feeling of awe at the creature's presence, she knew that their focus now had to be on getting Michael the help he needed. With a determined nod, she turned her attention back to the road ahead, ready to embark on the journey home. But rather than heading straight home, Laura made a split-second decision to reroute to the hospital. She knew that Michael needed more than just rest. He needed professional medical attention to assess any injuries he might have sustained during his ordeal. With a sense of urgency, she sped towards the nearest medical facility. Arriving at the hospital, Laura wasted no time in seeking help for Michael. The staff sprang into action, whisking him away to receive the care he so desperately needed. He was severely dehydrated and terribly close to hypothermia. His injuries weren't life-threatening, but he was still far from fine. Days passed in a blur as Laura remained by his side, offering comfort and support as he fought to recover from his ordeal. And finally, after what felt like an eternity, the day came when Michael was deemed well enough to be discharged. Happy that her husband was now fine, Laura couldn't shake the curiosity burning inside her. As they made their way home from the hospital, she cast a concerned glance towards Michael, unable to contain her questions any longer. With a furrowed brow, she broached the subject of the wolf, eager to learn how he had become friends with such a wild creature. With a deep sigh, Michael began to recount the events that had led to his unexpected bond with the wolf. Years ago, when he had first moved to the Alaskan town to work as a forest reserve staff, he had stumbled upon a wounded wolf cub during one of his surveys deep in the jungle. It had been a chance encounter that would change both of their lives forever. As Michael scanned the forest with his binoculars, his attention was drawn to a small figure limping in the distance. As he focused his lenses, he realized with a sinking heart that it was a baby wolf, injured and alone in the wilderness. His heart filled with pity for the poor creature. Michael knew he couldn't leave it to fend for itself. With a sense of urgency, he approached the cub, his heart breaking at the sight of its emaciated form and the blood staining its fur. It was clear that the cub had narrowly escaped an attack from another animal, and it was struggling to stay alive. Unable to turn a blind eye to its suffering, Michael made a split-second decision to take the cub to the nearest vet hospital for treatment. With gentle hands, he scooped up the wounded creature, feeling its weak heartbeat against his chest as he hurried back to his vehicle. Finally, they reached the vet hospital, where a team of professionals sprang into action at the sight of the injured cub. They worked tirelessly to stabilize its condition, 
administering life-saving treatments and tending to its wounds with care and precision. As the hours stretched into days, Michael remained by the cub's side, offering comfort and support as it fought bravely for its life. And, slowly but surely, the wolf began to regain its strength, its once empty eyes now filled with a spark of life and vitality. Mike had become like a foster parent to the little cub, whom he affectionately named Hope. From the moment they met, a deep bond had formed between them, one that transcended the boundaries of species. Whenever Hope saw Michael, her tail would wag furiously, a silent proof of the love and trust she had for her human companion. With each passing day, their bond grew stronger, cementing their connection in ways that words could never fully capture. After several weeks of treatments, Hope had finally healed from her injuries thanks to the dedicated care of the veterinary staff and Michael's unwavering love and support. Though she was still too young to be released back into the wild, Hope's recovery was a cause for celebration, a testament to the power of compassion and kindness. But as the months passed, the inevitable moment approached when Hope would be ready to return to her natural habitat. It was a bittersweet realization for Michael, knowing that he would have to say goodbye to his beloved companion. Yet, he also felt a sense of pride, knowing that he had played a part in her journey to freedom. The day of Hope's release arrived, and Michael couldn't help but feel a pang of sorrow as he watched her prepare to leave. But he knew it was for the best, that she belonged in the wild where she could thrive and live out her days as nature intended. As Hope's cage was opened, she paused for a moment, her eyes locking with Michael's in a silent farewell. And then, with a burst of energy and determination, Hope ran into the forest, her sleek form disappearing into the trees as she embarked on a new chapter of her life. As Michael watched her go, he felt a swell of emotion in his chest, knowing that he had done the right thing by setting her free. Little did he know that one day, when he would find himself in a distressing situation, it would be Hope who would come to his rescue, repaying the kindness and love he had shown her. That morning, as Michael had set out for work on his snowmobile, he never anticipated that anything could go wrong. The crisp winter air filled his lungs as he navigated through the snow-covered landscape, his mind focused on the task that lay ahead. But as he reached a familiar stretch of road, he encountered a path obstructed by fallen tree branches. Despite the inconvenience, Michael knew he couldn't just leave the debris blocking the way for others. So, he resolved to clear the road, unaware of the danger lurking nearby. As Michael began to gather the fallen branches to clear the path, his thoughts were solely on ensuring the safety of others who would pass the same route. But in his selfless act of clearing the road, he unwittingly stumbled upon a hidden peril, a deep hole drilled into the ground, concealed by the blanket of snow and fallen branches. With a misstep, Michael lost his footing and tumbled into the gaping maw of the entrapment, his cries for help drowned out by the silence of the winter forest. Panic surged through him as he realized the gravity of his predicament. The hole was too narrow for him to climb out on his own, and with each passing moment, his hope of escape dwindled. Alone in the depths of the hole, Michael clung to the slim hope that someone would come to his rescue. With every passing vehicle that rumbled past, he screamed for help, his voice echoing through the silent forest. But despite his desperate pleas, no one heard his cries, and the hours stretched into an agonizing eternity as he waited for salvation that seemed increasingly elusive. As the night wore on, Michael huddled in the depths of the hole, the biting cold seeping into his bones. He knew that he had to endure the cold temperatures until help arrived, praying that it wouldn't be too long before someone discovered his predicament. However, Michael's prayers were abruptly interrupted by the sound of slow, deliberate footsteps approaching. His heart pounded in his chest as he strained to see who or what was coming. Fear gripped him as he imagined the worst. Had he unwittingly stumbled into a trap set by hunters or predators lurking in the distance? But to his astonishment, the figure that appeared above him was not a threat, but rather a familiar sight, a wolf its eyes glinting with recognition as it regarded him from above. Michael's mind raced as he tried to comprehend the unlikely coincidence. Could it be Hope, 
the wolf cub he had rescued years ago? It seemed too incredible to be true. But as the wolf turned to howl at the full moon, Michael caught sight of the familiar markings on its hind legs, the same markings he had seen on the injured wolf years before. With a surge of emotion, Michael realized that hope had returned to him in his hour of need. With gratitude swelling in his heart, he watched as she stood watch over him until the first light of dawn broke through the trees. Then, Hope left Michael and headed to his house to miraculously cajole Laura into following her to the distressing scene. As he recounted the incredible tale of his encounter with the wolf, she listened with a mixture of shock and intrigue. From that day on, she began to see animals in a different light, recognizing the bond that could exist between humans in the natural world. Though Hope never returned to their home, Michael and Laura knew that her presence had been a gift, a reminder of the interconnectedness of all living things and the power of compassion to bridge the gap between species. What a beautiful story! Would you help a wild animal if it was wounded? And would you follow a wolf into the depths of a forest? Tell us in the comments below. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.